Hi, welcome to how to draw with a fountain pen by Zhu Sheng Yi. I am Zhu Sheng Yi, and today I'll be starting my first introduction lesson, introducing the fountain pens. These are my three fountain pens that I'll be showing you. So their needs vary in size. We've got the soft extra fine we've got the extra fine knit and we have the fine so let's just get to how we use them so first of all we have got the grip so if you are using a big pen you can try with the tripod grip which is like this here you'll be holding three fingers near the nib be careful with the ink there and then you would balance on your little finger here on the desk I'll be showing a close-up view of uh, how this looks like this is how you hold it I know most people when they write or sit for examinations they tend to squeeze their pen by applying pressure here this is uh, not really uh, important in holding the fountain pen because what you're trying to do is you're not trying to apply pressure on the paper or try to write very quickly you're actually trying to just flow with the ink let the ink go onto the paper and then actually draw what you want to draw so let's get some paper here So here's the feel of it. Yeah, this is the thickness of the line. Next one, we are moving on to this. It's a pilot vanishing point. It's a new pen uh, of mine, which is uh, like a click pen. You click the back and you have a nip coming out in the front. So this is how the lines look. When using the extra fine nips, you will realize that there's a scratchy feeling. So it's very important that you do not apply pressure like how you are actually writing because you will be actually scratching the paper. And that might actually cause uh, the paper to break if it's too flimsy or it might actually cause fibers to actually go in between your fountain pen nip. So do watch out for that. Um, when you're holding the pen, do keep in mind these three fingers, gripping it and then resting on the joint between the index and the thumb, your palm in fact. So this is how it should look like. And uh, don't worry if your little finger can't balance like this or on the table, you can just tilt your hand a bit and just let the ring finger instead press on the on the table and then draw this so when you are looking at trying to draw straight lines it's very important that you try and move your elbow here that's how you get your lines so this is a e, uh, extra fine knit this is a soft extra fine. When using this pen, do be careful um, because it, it is a flex nib. That means when you apply pressure, this nib is flexible enough to flex and open up the gap such that more air comes in. Usually people call this like a calligraphy pen uh, because it can write cursive and very nice calligraphy uh, writing. But do know it is a soft extra fine it is a soft knit pen and it is uh, fine because it's made by the Japanese um, it may be still a bit tender and uh, fragile thus same thing with your elbow here so this is an example of what it does so you can see here the split of the nib actually does sometimes get shown if you if you split it too much it 
think this is the soft soft file which people like to use for writing There are many ways to hold it, um, this is just how I actually uh, decided to hold it. But um, another way that I have ever held a fountain pen was like this, with my in between my two fingers. This is, uh, is when I'm uh, a bit more relaxed and all I'm doing are like line hatchings and then my line hatchings goes in a certain direction that my nib tends to need to follow. Thus, I would hold it in between like that and then you just is for rough hatching as you can see it's not straight and not precise because I'm in the mode of just filling in hatching and uh, taking time to hatch the the space in between so yeah it's uh, there are relaxed ways of holding their precise ways that you want to hold it such that you get the straight line that you're after and yeah that's it that's how you hold a fountain pen. That's the first part of this lesson. So the next part is the pressure. The pressure that you put on your paper. As you can see, I'm using this same three pens to show you pressure. You have seen the soft fine nib that when you apply pressure, the line tends to be thicker. And then when you don't apply so much pressure, it becomes a thinner line and then it becomes thicker again. And a thinner depending on the pressure that you put on your fountain pen so next up I'll be explaining to you each fountain pen has its own different sense of pressure such that the ink flows so this is the German brand the Faber Castle I'll now show you what I mean so if I were to hold it just like my fountain pen the fine nits fountain pen and then draw a line you see the ink doesn't really flow up so one more time, now it flows because you apply a bit more pressure than before and that's how you get the ink flowing. So that is the lesson that each fountain pen, you gotta understand their sense of pressure. Usually the thicker nibs and the uh, German produced fountain pens tend to need more pressure when writing so you go like so another way to grip a pen is to move up your three fingers from here to above this is if you are trying to extend the pen from a distance from the paper such that your hands do not rub too much on the surface of your drawing paper and then you draw your line. So that is how you do with the western brand of powder pens. You apply more pressure on it and then that's how you get things done. Yeah. So the next one is the pilot extra fine nib, the vanishing point. So this one you have to relax and not not put in too much pressure. So, and right now uh, I am moving back my grip because I'm trying to make sure that I don't the amount of pressure that I of grip here is not channeled to the nib when it's on the paper. So I can grip here a bit more tighter, but I don't want the nib to be piercing into the paper and as you can see I'm, I'm not using my wrist to draw because I'm trying to feel the nib floating on the paper floating on the paper yeah I'm gonna wrap my name and as you can see no pressure is placed on the pen yes that is how you have to be careful with this fountain pen such that you don't damage it 
now the soft extra fine. The soft extra fine, you can actually just write the name like that. But of course, it looks like uh, it's the, the ink is like fading and running out of ink. But actually, this is how fine you can get when you're drawing. So you gotta understand how your meat is made, such that you are able to create these grayish feeling lines. So when I were to hatch it and create this kind of broken lines, it adds a certain lightness to the hatching that I'm creating. So it's just making use of the different nips. And as you can see uh, here, the upper portion of the hatches, the points where I start and end, tend to have a blacker dot than the center line. This is the interesting point of the soft fine nibs for fountain pen and of course how you can control it such that it creates such hatching. And this is why fountain pen has its characteristics and how to use these characteristics of the fountain pen to actually create your hyper realistic artworks. That's it for now and I will be asking you guys to show me how you guys hold the pen the next lesson.